Alright, here we are. The Order of Whispers Initiate Saga continues. This time we've down the hatch, level 40. Hmm, Tim didn't look at Pirate Guy. Let's hope we don't have to fight him. Nah, <laughs> plenty prepared. I want some real combat after we just destroyed those wisps. Oh, and now we look like a pirate. <laughs> it's not every day you see a pirate with an afro. This music is awesome. I think it's Tibble's theme, as a matter of fact. I don't know. Don't go me in that. See, he even has a good theme song. Yeah, let's ask him. How did he manage to get these pirate get-ups? I don't see that at all in options. <laughs> Hang on, I'm the distraction, why not you? <laughs> you worry me, Tybalt. I don't want to say that to him. I'm fine, I understand everything. Well, I'm ready to go. Alright. Let's go have some fun. The pirates. <clears throat> Turn that off, because it gets annoying hearing that sound every now and then. Salty dog, you ready to prove it? What? <laughs> Cutscene, interrupt. Darn, me hearties. I'll wager my buddy here can drink you foul-smelling lot out of the table. Now, who's got the guts to challenge us? A drinking competition? What are you doing? Shh, just go with it. Trust me. Who are you, scoundrels? And what's your wager? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm two Tibbs of Whisker, and this is, uh, blood-covered, backstabbing, blackjack the blade. Yeah. And our wager is two fistfuls of gold. Are you in? Aye, I'm in. Jack Dawes, belly up to the bar. Fill your mugs and lay your money down. Alright. It's gonna be fun. This part's a mini game. A drinking yes. mini game. Cheating's allowed so long as you're not caught. The crowd will murder you. <laughs> Listen up, you sea dogs. Come witness about to be remembered. The bold newcomer versus your favorite cheap date, one drink Drake. Lightweight. I hate you guys. A <laughs> titanic match of fortitude and resilience. Let the drinking begin. I've been fighting you under the table, lover. Here we go again. One more. Hey, what's that? Oh. No fair. I can't drink two drinks. Yeah. A flat room spinning. Took him out. <laughs> Pour water and make him go. Have you had a little too much to drink? Hey, one drink Drake has lived up to his name. No surprise there. Our second contender, small but fierce. <laughs> Watch out for Kipler, the Tipler. Prepare to be inebriated into an inebriated stranger. Round two. Go. Brains, brown, and grigandry. Yeah, drink until you're pretty. That'll be fun. <laughs> That's kind of disturbing. <laughs> We're just doing a lot of alternating between the one and the two usually. Slow down, slow down. <laughs> what do you think this is? A competition? Yeah. They <laughs> belch sometimes. There we go. That was good damage to him. Most for yeah. forty forty fluidus. <laughs> for fortuitous. Yeah, <laughs> that. Woo! <laughs> Woo! 
It's time to belch again, probably. Head goes down, Just to finish him off. Ear, head goes down, ears go up. <laughs> that floor looks mighty soft. Yeah. Down he goes. Oh, the tippler has toppled. <laughs> Our contest isn't over. Welcome that hollow-legged hellion, Rana Guzzlemaw. No time for talking. Let's drink. Oh, this is for the win. No excuses and no prisoners. Drink up till you're falling down. Keep your eyes on the booze and your head in the game, fool. <laughs> this one we might have to play a little differently. Yeah. We're gonna play it really gutsy because she's a heavy drinker, you see. A little less on the fake outs here. Hopefully she doesn't uh, belch us. If she does, then I'll have to heal or we yeah. might fail this one. Okay, I need to keep going until I'm a little lower. Okay, one more drink and then I better stop. Holy crap, better stop. Not bad. I'm in it for the long haul, though. Can you keep up? Crap, she drank too now. <laughs> Okay, the belch is usually supposed to knock her to the ground is the problem here. It didn't that time. Because then we could heal and she wouldn't be able to heal. That's the thing here, it's a dangerous... Let's try again. There we go. Come on, use the free quickly while she's knocked down. There we go, now she can't heal from that. Which is good news. Yeah. <laughs> Getting dangerous here. One more, one more, one more. I better stop. Alright, gotta hope this knocks her down. It did not. Try again. Oh, I can't do it again. Let's do a fake out. Oh no. Oh, I better drink that water now. We gotta hope we can knock her down. Uh, this is getting too low for me. There we go. Drink, drink, drink water now. Oof. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Almost got her. Belt is not up. Is a problem with this right now. Let's do it. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Filthy shenanigan liver. Questioning our liver. Got the best liver. Okay, this is trouble though. Let's do a fake out. She doesn't seem to fall for the fake outs. I've noticed. Yeah. It's not very effective on her. Let's drink one more time, then better belch. Quickly before she does. Oh crap, she's gonna heal now. Dang it, I should have just finished her off. <laughs> Whatever, we'll play it safe here. It's better than losing at this point. Do it. You must be the sponsors. Oh, wise one, teach me. Teach me your ways. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's how you do it. You can also cheese this out with some food. Slash nourishment. The newcomer Blackjack is the last drinker standing. We got ourselves a new potentate of potables. Surprise, surprise, eh, Cabriel? I mean, yar, flotsam and jetsam. <laughs> now, how about that wheat? Fine, fine. I'll go fetch your gold, you thieving sea whisker. Okay, listen up. While you were guzzling away, I found Zemi. She's under heavy guard on the other side <laughs> of the water. So there was a plan after all. Beyond getting me sloshed, I mean. <laughs> Of course there was. What did I tell you? You just have to trust me. Alright then. Yeah, I think this is like all Tybalt's theme. Do the other mentors have their own music? I don't think so. <laughs> That's their problem. I think the other great thing about it is he's nothing like the other Char. 
He seems a little more fun-loving. But he admits that something broke him, apparently. Something made him broken down. Whatever that could mean. Although, if you, if you look into his name and if you look at his hands, you can probably tell what that is. If you're gonna be literal about it. Oh yeah, underwater combat time? Oh no. If it is, then we can use the we can use the great kid underwater, which is great. What is he gonna say? Very good, quick. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, I think he waits for us at this point. If we're like too far behind, he waits for you. Or if you're too far ahead. Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> So far, so good. Let's use the bomb kit, because I love the radius that we have on it now. 60 plus range is nothing to scoff at. And we're going to have to do battle here, obviously. I don't think this is going to work. Yar and rar and me, matey. How's about you let us fellow pirates through? Avast and bosun the brow cap, sailor. Who did you say you were again, fellow? Five two tibs a whisker. This is blood covered backstabbing blackjack the blade. Yar. Raise the crow's foot and rope down the jib jabber jabber. You're kidding. Uh -oh. Mates, we got trespassers. Yep. Shame. His axe didn't work. Unfortunately, he couldn't fool this guy. Someone out there? Help! Get me a sword. I'll help you kill him. No! Please, no! <laughs> it's kind of dark for a pirate to say. You figure he'd be more accepting of death. He'd be like, so this is how it ends. Instead of no, please, no. Wow. And Tibble just destroyed those guys. Didn't I remember having trouble here on my Mesmer? I guess these freebies are just too good. These rares, these free rares. Aren't you a little sober to be a pirate? <laughs> Look. We're with so the Order up. of Whispers. We've been sent to get you out of here. We're here to abscond with you, and with the beer. The beer's already vanished into thin air, so now it's your turn. Thank the goddess, Lissa. I was starting to think the Order had forgotten me. Do you have a plan to get out of this place alive? Sort of. The idea starts with run for it, and generally goes downhill from there. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> There's more to this rescue than staggering and burping. Bastard brute! Well, we still need to kill the pirates. Well, see, when one part of a plan works, I like to stick with it. <laughs> There's a bunch of them over here. Set rescue. No wonder you're called the Order of Whispers. Nobody would brag about this. Wow. I've been immobilized. Oh, crap. This is trouble on the internet. Man, they're so weak. Is the scaling messed up? Why am I... Did they make the personal story easier? Why why the battle so easy now? I'm not over leveled. To me to the Lion's Arch safe house. Meet us there. I only have one more level. That's the weird part. Alright. So now uh, we cut, because they're not gonna say anything else, I don't think. Yeah, he doesn't say anything new. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Can't follow them, I'll do them since anyways. The next part now. Alright, here we are. At the crow's nest. This guy's like a role player or something. You know where I can buy some apples. That's not an NPC who's talking in the chat, that's some role plays. Hmm. Alright, now we gotta head downstairs, which is right here, down the hatch. Well, hopefully they weren't trying to incorporate me, but I imagine my name is quite immersion breaking. <laughs> Whoa, that was scary, almost sent me out of the instance for a bit. Ah, never happened. Tybalt, thank the Lady of the Mirror. I thought something terrible had happened. Your first field mission, and you go out of contact. <laughs> uh. Hang on, first mission? I thought I was the plot number. twist. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, I might have overstated that. I've been in the order for years, but this is my first time in the field. Initiate, my name is Lady Wee. I'm the order's agent within the Crichton Ministry. 
This rough-looking gentleman is Ben Tenstrikes, my protector. I was supposed to get Demi safely out of Divinity's reach, but I got sacked by Ministry guards. You're lucky to be alive, Ben. Codicus wields great power in Krita, and he's none too pleased about his daughter's desertion. Hmm. How did Landon find me? There's no way the Ministry Guard could have tracked me this far from Divinity's Reach. Your father probably purchased a tracking enchantment. Do you have anything you never remove? Something he knew you'd keep with you? My mother's necklace? He's using it to follow me? My father is a cold-hearted snake. No surprise there. This safe house will block such divining. But when you leave here, you will be found. Lion's Arch is no longer safe for you. Tybalt, initiate. You must take Demi to the Chantry of Secrets right away. She'll be safe there. Your father's treachery could be useful to us, Demi. If Commander Landon is following the enchantment, we can use it to lead him awry. Clever. Now let's work out the details so we can get Demi out of here safe and sound. All right, I think we get a choice to make here. Confer with Tybalt and notify me when you decide. Poor Demi. Her father has done some terrible things. Agreed. But at the risk of being callous, that's precisely why her information is so valuable. I guess it. Ah, he remembers how we took out Teo. Or he heard. Should have been there to protect Demi. That's laudable, Ten Strikes. But Codicus is dangerous. I am not surprised he got the better of you. That scum's already hurt a lot of people. Why can't he just call it quits? He wants the Crichton hmm. throne. That's why we must get Demi to safety and find out what she knows. What do you have to say? Anything else? Yeah, isn't he's nothing like Codicus? Interesting. But that's all we can say. All we can do is bring that up. That's weird. We just lost a bunch of dialogue choices. I think. What do you got to say, Tybalt? I'll talk to her. Cheer her up a bit. See, Tybalt's kind of nice. Or Tybalt's very nice. Let's see. Hmm, I'm not talking until I save. Wow. Interesting. All right, Tybalt. Got a choice to make, don't we? So what's the plan? <laughs> I've done this one before, but I've never done the decoy option. Let's try the decoy option. Sounds kind of fun. Let's use a decoy and lay a false trail. <laughs> to know where we'll get a decoy, but later we can help us think of something. The best laid plans are ones that you just kind of make up on the fly sometimes. And that's what we're going to do here with the decoy option. We've decided to leave a false train and trick the Ministry Guard into an ambush. Once they're out of the way, it'll be easier to get Demi to safety. Tybalt and I will lay an ambush while Ben gets Demi out of the city. After we've handled Landon, we'll meet up with you again. If you're determined to do this, at least let me make the ruse a good one. With a little magical assistance, Tybalt will make an excellent Demi beetle. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Making a char like me look like her? I hope you have some mighty strong magic up your sleeve. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll make a beautiful decoy. Tybalt. Oh god. <laughs> You're putting your life in danger for my safety. I won't forget this. Thank you. Thank you all. There we go, complete it. What's our freebie today? Ah, <laughs> oh, toughness and vitality. That makes me sad. Let's go with the rifle then. Wow, lots of goodies though. Experience booster, that's really nice. Anyways, that's it for this one, folks. Dust sign off. Have a wait. Did we have anything else to say? Nope. Demi anything? Demi anything, I mean. Ah, oh, he doesn't know anything about my invention. Okay, that's it. Anyways, later.